today we'll be building a customer service lead generation appointment setting AI chatbot for a local CrossFit gym named Terra CrossFit. It will be able to automatically send SMS messages containing the customer's information straight to the gym owner as soon as they register for a free class through the voice flow chatbot which then immediately sends a confirmation email to the potential customer with detail of their upcoming CrossFit class. And if that's not enough, it will also have the ability to answer specific questions about Terra CrossFit and how to get started. So with all of this said, let's get straight into the tutorial. So anytime we have a project that has customer service integrated, we always want to go to the knowledge base section and add all of the URLs from the main website. You can add as many as you want, I'm pretty sure you can add over a hundred URLs, so don't be afraid to add as many as you like. Once you're done adding all of the URLs, you can go ahead and click the preview button and ask it a question. Here it will give you an answer, as you can see, and then point where it found it. We can now get started with the workflow. From the start node, add a text card. Have it introduce itself and maybe give it a name like I did here. I named it Dahlia, so it has a little personality to it. If you wish, you can also add five variants of this text so it doesn't always start off the same. And right from the start, we're going to give the user three options which they can click or press on. They're going to be try a free class, I have a question, or escalate to human. To start it off, we're going to link a button card which contains all of the three options. If you run a test, this is what it's going to look like. Let's start off with a free class option. Ask the user which type of class they would be interested in taking as their free class. To get an idea of which classes I would add, I went back to the website and found some classes. Now add a button which contains some of the classes which they can take. The ones I will add are CrossFit, Endurance, and Gymnastics. Now thankfully Terra CrossFit has a whole section with their schedule. I will use this to structure how I will create the appointment setting on this section. Also let's not forget that every time we capture something from the user we want to store that in a variable. So go over to the NLU button and create a new variable. In this case, it will be class type. Now over at the button section, on the action settings, click on set variable. Select the variable which is class type and assign it a key value which is wrapped in quotes. Do this for every single one of the buttons. Now we carry on to the next node which will be based on what day they want to take certain class. So once again, add another text card that prompts the user which day they want to take the class. I'll create another variable named day. I looked back at the Terra CrossFit schedule and saw that Monday and Wednesday are good options for the CrossFit class. So I chose those two as the options for the buttons and I assigned them the variable that goes with them, which is day. On to the next block, we ask what hour they want to take the class they chose on that day. So once again, we create a variable for hour and assign it to the buttons. I repeated the same process for the other two classes, only difference being that they contain different options for the buttons. Now link all of the final buttons to another node that'll have a text saying Thank you for being interested in our class variable, class on day variable at hour variable. Let's continue now with the information from the user. I'll add a text card prompting for their full name and the capture card so they can type it in. Remember to create the full name variable. Now we'll recreate the same node twice but this time for email and phone number. Do not forget to create the variables that will contain the information from the user. Now that we're done capturing lead information from the user, drop an API card into the workflow. Now head over to Sapier where all the automation magic is going to happen. For the trigger, we're going to use webhooks by Sapier. This is necessary to capture all of the variables from VoiceFlow. For the event, select catch hook. Press continue twice and you will get a webhook URL. Copy it. When we go back to VoiceFlow, we want to set the API card from get to post because we are sending variables, not receiving them. Now paste in the URL. Now we just fill in the body section. For the key pair, type in the name of a variable. And then for the variable, just type in the variable itself wrapped in curly brackets. Click on the plus sign to add as many variables as you have. If the post API is successful, we'll 
link it to a text card saying, great, see you soon. If it fails, we'll say something went wrong and add a button that says try again, which will take the user way back to the beginning. If the post API is successful, we might as well also add an end card at the end. Now that we have all this set, let's not keep the Zapier webhook waiting and start a conversation so we can send in some variables to Zapier. So start the chatbot and fill in all the information. Now that the post was successful, click on test trigger and here we get all the variables we typed in. As I mentioned in the intro of this video, one of the actions of the automation will be to send out a SMS message to the owner of the CrossFit gym, notifying him of the new lead. To do this, we use the SMS by Zapier action. The event is to send a message. Then you link your phone number and select random for the number that it's going to come from. As for the message itself, it'll say something like, you have a new lead, here's the information. Then just select the relevant variables, which are full name, email, and phone number. The final action is Gmail so we can send a confirmation email to the customer. So fill in the blanks, link your email, and create a custom message that will have the relevant variables such as full name, class type, day, and hour. And now that we click this publish button, your automation will always be listening for a webhook trigger. Now that we finished the lead generation part of the chatbot, let's give it a try and see the results. The automation was successful. Here is the SMS that I received. And here's the personalized email that I received. Now we're on to the customer service side of the chatbot, which is fairly simple. We're going to drag from the I have a question button into a text card telling the user to input a question. We create a question variable and assign it to the capture card. We link it to an AI response card and set the data source as knowledge base so it answers from the URLs that it searches through. And as for the prompt, give it the question variable. Now put a text card in there asking if they want another question and put in some buttons saying yes or no. If they say no, tell the user, understood, feel free to contact us. And then add another two buttons, one with a free class card that will redirect them straight to the free class section and then another one that says goodbye which will end the conversation right there but if they say yes I will create another node having a text saying great please ask and then once again with a capture card that contains the question variable which will be looped back to the node with the response AI and just like that you created a loop that repeats over and over responding to the question variable as long as the user keeps clicking yes. And just like that, you added customer service to the chatbot. So let's give it a try. Let's ask it, where are you located? There's the answer. We'll ask another question. If you hover above the knowledge base icon, you can see where it got the answer from. Do you have another question? No. Now we get free class or goodbye. Let's just go on and hit goodbye. Now we'll finally do the escalate to human part from the introduction. Just provide a text node, including some information where they can find the team, and make some of the information bold so it stands out a little. I'll make three buttons, one for the free class, another for the question, and one saying goodbye. At last, we're done. If you learned anything in this video, please drop a like. I posted the template file of this chatbot in my Discord server. You can find the link in the description. If you have any suggestions of what type of chatbot I could create next, don't hesitate and write it down below in the comments. With all that said, goodbye.